and we're going to fly a couple of NASA airplanes in Greenland and the Arctic and also over Antarctica with a laser altimeter in them to measure the key historic ice sat tracks that tell us about the changes in elevation with time over the most dynamic parts of the ice. Because we're on an airplane, we can also make some other measurements. One of the most important ones is using ice penetrating radar to map the bed. So while we're flying over the ice, in addition to figuring out the height of the ice with the altimetry, we're also going to take a radar that goes through and tells us the shape of the rock underneath it. And the shape of that bed is critically important. The character of that bed, whether it has sediment on it, whether it's wet, whether it's dry, tells us about how fast the ice can flow. And the shape of that bed tells us the direction the ice flows in. All of this will go into our models of sea level rise. And if the plane is going to have on it all kinds of instruments, it's going to be measuring altimetry with the laser, it's going to do ice penetrating radar, it's going to have a snow radar on it, it's going to tell us about snow thickness, which is really important to understanding accumulation and climate models of how snow falls and builds up and ultimately gets converted to ice. It will also have gravity on it and measure the Earth's gravity field and changes in mass. Um, and we might even do some CO2 measurements. So there's a whole range of things that are going on.